Hey there, Walt here from Walt in PA, and uh, I just got a new motorcycle accessory installed. I'm kind of excited about it. It is the SW Motec Blaze Pro saddlebags, and uh, I, I kind of reached the reached my my breaking point during the last group ride when. I wanted to take my moto vlogging accessories, which include extra batteries, uh, some channel stickers to hand out, some poker chips to hand out, you know, some miscellaneous charging cords, a battery, and uh, you know, one of those battery backup bricks. You know, all the stuff that a moto vlogger needs when they go out for a few hours. And I also wanted to bring along my drone and you know, like a bottle of water and some snacks because I had planned on being out all day and the whole production required my my tail bag being filled filled up wearing a backpack with additional crap in it and just uh, it just felt like I was <laughs> like I was a pack mule almost with all this additional stuff and I've been kicking around the idea of getting a pair of saddlebags for some time now but being a little bit of a cheapskate, I was really on the fence and I didn't want to spend the kind of money that SW Motec charges for their Blaze Pro saddlebags. Now, I have looked at some of the, the cheaper saddlebags. Um, I think Nelson Brig makes a set. Uh, several other manufacturers make a, a universal fit. Um, Weston Supermoto Vlog did a motorcycle accessories for under X number of dollars that you have to buy video a little while back and he picked up a real nice set of saddlebags off of eBay for less than $50 so I've looked at a number of different options but I just couldn't I couldn't settle on anything I, I really like the blaze system because it has a metal arm that keeps the bag from swinging around they're easy on easy off uh, the mounting hardware just clips right off in case you ever want to take it off and go riding without the luggage. You know, but the downside is that they're a hell of a lot more than a lot of the other options. So there are two, basically uh, SW Motec offers two options. There's the Blaze series, which I believe is more or less the exact same setup that I have with a, with a ballistic nylon, 100% nylon bag. Whereas the Blaze Pros, I believe, have laminated plastic sides to make them more rigid uh, and yet still expandable. And I think they look a little bit nicer. They're a little bit more money, but I, I like the look a little better. So I went ahead and I finally bit the bullet. I ordered them. They came in probably two weeks ago. Things have been so busy, I didn't get a chance to install them until today, and I thought didn't make much sense to do an installation video on them for two reasons. Uh, one, they don't really have a good way of setting up and doing an install video. And two, there's four steps to install these things. Now, the instructions could definitely be written better. So you will, you, you may find <laughs> installation a little confusing at times. But it really, once you get the first one on, the second one's really simple. So the purpose of this video is just to give you my first impressions of the bags now that they're installed, now that I get to see see them up close and not look at them online and pictures and things. So what you're about to see is a video of me off the bike talking about my Blaze Pro saddlebags. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here are my brand new SW Motec Blaze Pro saddlebags. So this is actually the maiden voyage on these bags. I have gone, I don't know, maybe 40 miles with them on. Um, just got them installed today and I thought I would go for a, a little ride, see how they felt. Um, they're empty, so it's not like they're gonna make a, a big difference on how the bike handles or anything. I just wanted to, I don't know, I need an, ex an excuse to get out and ride, I guess. So this is gonna be my first impressions of the Blaze Pro saddlebags. So the in the installation instructions definitely could have been better. Um, basically, the paper, the primary language in which the instructions are written is not English. It's almost like English subtitles. There are basically four steps. Each step is what boils down to take a bunch of parts, put them together, and then bolt them on the bike. 
So it's a little tough to to figure out exactly what's going on. Uh, the most confusing part for me is this bracket right here. As you can see, it's it's off center. And the issue that I was running into was the, the instructions show that uh, in an isometric view. So you're looking at it kind of on an angle and it's really hard to see which way that offset should be when it gets bolted onto the bike. Uh, one of the reasons why I like, uh, why I wanted these saddlebags is it's easy on and easy off. This clip comes undone, then this bracket pulls out and basically all you're left with visually is this bracket and you know the saddlebags are off so that's kind of cool. It's uh, a minimalist look when you don't want to see them anymore or when you when you want to take them off ride without it and not have uh, a bunch of hardware on the bike. All right, so I do have a gripe with these saddlebags, right? Um, and it's the bracket. So when I ordered these, I, I should have looked at the, the picture closer. I was under the impression that the bracket mounted behind the foot peg to kind of conceal it. But as you can see, based on the way the everything works, this can't be behind the, the foot peg. And... Personally, I don't think it's a very clean look. I don't like the spacers. One has a flat ground cutout on it for no reason whatsoever that I can tell. Um, I just, for $450, I think that that connection point could and should be cleaner. But otherwise, lots of storage space come with rain covers, they expand, got a secondary pocket here, got a little locking hook here, I only keep honest people out with those tiny little luggage locks, but the, uh, but they do what they're supposed to do, you know, they're easy on, they're easy off, um, this is a little bit of an eyesore here, the bracket's a little bit of an eyesore, And that's pretty much my my first impression of the Blaze, the SW Motec Blaze Pro saddlebags for the Honda CB650F. All right, so one thing that I did not mention because I didn't think of it at the time, um, another slight disappointment about these bags. So there's a metal rod that comes off the bike and the bag sleeves sleeves over. Uh, there's a, a pocket on the back of the bag. It slips over top of this metal rod so that it can't swing and get up under the bike and hit the tire. I was under the impression that this was a solid rod, whether it was aluminum or stainless steel. I just thought that this rod was heavy duty, bulletproof, like wouldn't, couldn't possibly break because, you know, again, the price on these bags isn't cheap, so I wasn't expecting to get a hollow metal rod. And in the instructions, it says you have to be careful not to, not to load one bag heavier than the other, because if it tilts and you wind up putting more weight on one rod than the other, you could crack the rod. And that's a bit disappointing given the price. Um, so, I mean, I, I hate to just bash on these bags, but... I was just expecting more. Uh, you know, I was expecting a better quality product. Or I was expect. <laughs> I don't mean to bash the product, but I hate them. No, uh, I I'm happy with the bags. I don't regret buying them. However, I do wish that the rods were solid, and I do wish the fit and finish was better. I don't like that the bracket bolts on top of my passenger pegs. It is my the pegs are, are aluminum and the bracket is black. It is painfully obvious that there is a bracket bolted onto the bike. And while this, the accessories come off to, to give it a clean look when, when the bags aren't in use, um, I just think that having that bracket bolted on the top and having it a different color, different finish, just looks bad. Like I, th I think it could have been done better. 
So before we end this video, I'd like to present this question to you. So if you own a set of SW Motec Blaze Pro Saddlebags, what are your thoughts of the, the quality, the fit and the fit and finish of your saddlebags? And if you're in the market for a set of saddlebags, what do you think of my criticisms? Are, are these things that would maybe steer you away from the SW Motec Blaze saddlebags? Or are, are the way the mounting bracket works and the hollow tube, are these just not a big deal to you? Head down to the comment section and let me know. So I think that's gonna do it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the Walt NPA channel. If you'd like to support me, the best way to do that is by giving this video a big old thumbs up, clicking that like button, dropping a comment in the comment section down below, and sharing this video with your friends. As always, ride safe, and I will catch you in the next one.